Hi guys, welcome to sixth grade, chapter six, lesson five. We're going to go ahead and get started. So you'll notice that at the top of your paper under number one, it gives you a formula. Distance equals rate times time. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and do number two. So all we're doing is plugging it in in the right spot. Okay, so at the top of all of these, I wrote distance equals rate times time. Okay. How long will it take a seal swimming? So it wants to know the time. Eight miles an hour, that's our rate. To travel 52 miles, that's our distance, okay? So now, in order to isolate this one and get it alone, okay, I have to do the opposite of this, which means that I need to divide by eight on both sides. So now I just need to do 52 and divide it by 8. Okay? So, 8 is not going to go into 5. I know that 6 times 8 is 48, so there we go. Subtract and get 4. Okay? Decimal, decimal, 0, bring it down. That makes 40. Okay? 40, 8 goes into 40 5 times. 8 times 5 is 40, subtract, get 0. So, 6 and a half hours. It's talking about hours. So, 6.5 hours. Okay? Write down your work. Okay, pause it, write down your work. Okay? We're going to do number 3. Okay? Again, I wrote that formula at the top of my chart. Okay? So, a dragonfly traveled at a rate, so it's telling us the rate is 35 miles per hour, for 2.5 hours. So, what distance will the dragonfly travel? We need to find the distance, okay? So, we just need to do that 35 times 2.5, okay, and find the answer, okay? So, 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17. Okay, we're going to go through and tick, tack, toe. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 more is 7. So we're going to go and add them up. Okay, so 5 plus 0, 5. 7 plus 0, 7. 1 plus 7, 8. We need to go in one time for that decimal. So 87.5. And it's talking about miles. Okay. All right. I'm going to do number four. Okay. A car travels 1,212 kilometers. That's our distance, guys. Okay. In four hours, it tells us how much time. It wants to know the rate of speed. So I need to, if I want to get this alone, I need to do the opposite of this, which is to divide by four. Divide by 4. Okay? So now, 1, 2, 1, 2, divide by 4. Okay? All right. 4 is not going to go into 1, but it'll go into 12 three times. Okay? 3 times 4 is 12. Subtract is 0. 0 is definitely smaller than 4, so I'm going to bring down my 1. 4 is not going to go into 1. I have to put a 0. There's no decimal before it or after it, so I need to put a 0. Okay? Then, 1 is still smaller than 4, so I can bring down my 2, and 4 goes into 12. 3 times, 3 times 4 is 12, subtract 0. Okay, so our answer, what's the rate of speed? It's going to be 303 kilometers per hour. Okay. Okay, pause it, write your work down, okay? You guys are going to do five and six. You totally can. I believe in you. Use the formula and plug in the distance, the rate, and the time, okay? You guys do five and six, and then on the back, you guys are going to do lesson check, just like always, and I'm going to help you through this file review, okay? So, number three says to write two ratios that are equivalent 
Okay, so 9 twelfths. Okay, well, if I do 9 times 2, that's 18. And if I do 12 times 2, that's 24. If I do 9 times 3, that's 27. And if I do 12 times 3, that's 36. So you have 18 over 24. And you have 27 over 36. Okay? Instead of reducing the fraction, we're making it bigger. Okay? We could also divide those both by 3 and do 3 over 4. That's acceptable too. Okay? Same thing. Okay? In the Chang family budget, 0.6% of the expenses are for internet service. What fraction of the family's expenses is for internet service? Write the fraction in simplest form. So, all right. So, 0.6, that 6 is over the tenth spot. Okay? So now, we need to divide hmm. all right it's got this in a strange way guys so what fraction oh gotcha okay so Hmm. Okay, so if we were to make this into six, then that would make, if I moved this so that it was that, then I would have to move that so that it was that. So then, okay, sorry guys, it took me a second, okay? So the six is over 100 because it's percent, okay? So six over 1,000 is our percent, okay, is our percent written as a fraction, okay? Writing it in simplest form, well, both of those can be divided by two. They're both equal. So then I would have three over 500. That is our, that's our fraction, okay? Looks a little funky, even to me, okay? It is what it is. Okay? All right. Next one. Okay. How many meters are equivalent to 350 centimeters? So, 350 centimeters, if we had a decimal, it would be at the end. Okay? And if we use King Henry, then going from centimeters to meters, so from centi to meters, we have to go one, two places to the left. So one, two places, 3.5. So, oh, sorry, that wasn't the zero, that was a seven. So 3.57. Sorry about this, guys. Meters. Don't forget your meters, okay? Okay. Last one of the chapter, guys, okay? What is the product of the two quantities shown below? So we have 60 miles in one hour, okay, by one, nope, by 12 hours, okay. So now we're done with hours, okay. So now we just have to do 12 times 60. Notice I put 60 on the bottom. Well, I did that because then I can do this, boom. Six times two is 12, carry that one. Six times one is six, plus one is seven. So 720, and we're left with miles. All right, guys, make sure you write down your work. Good job on 6.5, follow me for 6.7. See you then.